A cafe in Melbourne is protesting the gender pay gap like we've never seen before. One week out of every month, men pay an 18% premium. The tax is optional, but so far, no male customers refused. If people aren't comfortable with paying it or men don't want to pay it, we're not going to kick them out the door. Like, it's, it's just a good opportunity to do some good. Yeah, well, you could give me an 18% discount. It's just an opportunity to do some good. See what I did there? The cafe called Handsome Her. Oh, and that's 18% off the normal price, not 18% off the man price you jacked up by 18%. Checkmate. Also has priority seating for women. Gee, I don't know how I feel about this. Milo, how would you feel if bloke dog treats cost 18% more because of some bogus gender dog treats gap? <coughs> Is that something you'd be comfortable with? <coughs> bloke dog treats costing 18% more? <coughs> You'd be doing something good. You don't have to pay it. Eighteen percent more for dog treats. Eighteen percent more. Yes. No. Nah. He reckons it's a fucked idea. I think it's fair if you think about the world and the gender inequality. Good work, mate. Lady, if you actually put some real thought into the gender wage gap, then you wouldn't be sitting here trying to justify this stupid man tax gimmick. Think about the fact that there's a lot more men in the Australian workforce. Think about the fact that those men work more hours than women on average. And then think about who's in control of all that money earned by all those men working all those hours. The fact is, women control 70 to 80% of consumer spending. So while men might earn more money on average because more men actually have jobs and spend more hours busting their ass working those jobs, it's women who are more likely to spend that money. And trust me, sweetheart, spending money is a lot more enjoyable than earning it. Recession, recession. Give me better times, give me better times. Recession.